As a crime prevention practitioner, Andrew has over 27 years of experience teaching associations and individuals how to live, work, and play more safely. Hello, my name is Andrew Wooten, and I'd like to welcome you to the Ohio Association of Realtors Safety Series of videos. These videos are designed to help you work, play more safely. Our whole process as we go through this is to teach you different things that you can do in a short period of time that can dramatically reduce the chances of you being victimized. We care about you and your safety is important to us. Hello, I'd like to welcome you to the Ohio Association of Realtors Safety Program. Today's program is going to be a little different. Today we're going to be doing self-defense. And here's our whole goal. Our goal is to teach you how to make somebody let you go in a realistic manner. How to disable them long enough for you to be able to get away. This is not a martial arts program even though you're going to see me in a completely different outfit. The outfit I may be wearing may be a martial arts related, but this program is built off one philosophy, how you can get better, faster, and different by listening and trusting the number one weapon you have, which is your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy today's program. It's going to be interactive. Let's get ready to go. How many times have you been in your own house? Let's just make this personal. How many times have you been in your own home? You've been in your own house. You just made that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You walk around the corner. Somebody else comes around the corner. You go, <gasps> what happens to the sandwich? It's on the ground, isn't it? Dogs going, mm -hmm, thank you very much, you know? I mean, when somebody surprises you, when somebody catches you off guard, you're going to go, <gasps> it's a natural reaction. I have over 11 black belts and seven specialties. Currently, I'm the seventh highest ranking black belt in the United States. And I guarantee you this, when I walk around the corner of my house or my office and Robin or my wife comes around the corner, I go, and they go, oh yeah, Mr. Black Belt, tough guy, yeah, you know? Because it's a natural reaction. So here's what I want you to do. What I want you to do is when you get surprised, when somebody surprises you, when somebody catches you off guard, I just want you to do this. When you do this, I want you to do this. Let that air go. Matter of fact, let me have everybody stand up. At the count of three, I want everybody to take a deep breath in and hold it. It's going to look like this, just like that. And I just want you to hold it at the count of three. So you can let it go right now, OK? One, two, three. Now move your arms, move your shoulders, pick your feet up. Can you run? Can you scream? Now let that air go. Now take that same deep breath in and hold it. Go. Now let it go. Now move your arms, move your shoulders, pick your feet up. See how much easier you can move? Folks, when you breathe, you can use the greatest weapon you have, which is your mind. Thanks, you can have a seat. Here's what we're gonna do, here's the game plan. We're gonna take a quick 10 minute break for you guys can go grab some coffee, use the bathroom, do whatever you wanna do. Then we're gonna come back in and for the next 40 minutes, we're gonna hit it hard and hit it fast. Are we ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. <laughs> Now, let's talk about what's happening. You go to punch. Pretend like you're punching. Now, folks, this is, this is huge. Watch this. This is huge. So I want you to pretend like you're really going to like really throw a punch. You're not going to hurt me, right? No, I'm not at all. Because I'm going to hurt you. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so now I've just punched you in the face. This is rude. I am the show. <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> because here's the bottom line. I'm just trying to... Here's the bottom line. I'm just trying to save your life. See, we watch all these TV movies. We see all this stuff where somebody punches somebody right in their, in their sternum yeah. and the person falls down and rolls in the dirt. Folks, that's Hollywood. Here's the deal. When you bring your hand back to punch me, yeah. I'm going to punch you right in your face. <clears throat> Whose punch is going to hurt more? <laughs> save, save your punching for the gym. Okay. okay? Se second one. Second one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So let's just say... So I can't punch you there, right? Okay. Uh, the reason I say this is my dad told me when I was very young if right. I to do this right. or to hit right in into the nose. the nose and drive the nose up. Right. Right. Okay. Same Here's thing. what I want you to do. I want you to hit my hand as hard as you can. Yeah, this is going to be a trick, isn't it? No. I want you no, I want you to hit it. Just really lay into it. <laughs> you can't swing hard enough. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can hurt you. Oh. <laughs> will, you hit my, will you hit my hand? Okay, I'll put it right here. Okay, if I start to fall, you're going to catch me, right? Right. <laughs> Will you hit me? 
<laughs> Nobody is going to stand there and Nobody. let you punch them. Nobody. When you bring their hand back, guess what they're going to do? They're going to move. And then they're going to punch you. <laughs> Save your punching for the gym. Ladies, if you hit a man in his, if you punch a man in his penis, he will punch you in your face. You can grab me a towel or something. But if you hit a man in his testicles, guys, <laughs> we'll be down for two or three minutes. So, so when you, we're going to walk through this. So you get grabbed. First thing I want you to do is take a deep breath in. Let it go. Stomp. Oh, good. Turn. So we're walking through it. Drop your arm straight down, straight back. Hit. Can I hit you? Go. There you go. Just that way. Folks, even if he has a cup on, even if he has a protector on, it doesn't cover his testicles, it just covers his penis. So because you're hitting this way, you're hitting from underneath and you're driving off. Watch the guy's face. Guys, if, if somebody hits you this hard, how long will we be there? We'll be down for two or three minutes. Ladies, how far can you walk in two or three minutes? Walk. Here's why I say walk. Because if I have just grabbed you, your equilibrium is going to be off. Your balance is going to be off. And you're going to try to run and trip over your own two feet. That's why I want you to walk a couple steps, get your balance back, then if you can, take off and go. Okay? Go ahead and do what you did again. Just do it slowly. Okay? Now you're involved in a fight. Because as soon as your arm goes up to move my arm, okay, even though you're moving my arm, I'm bringing momentum into this punch. Okay, I'm bringing momentum into this punch. So let me have you for a sec. What I want you to do is to grab me the same way I just grabbed you. Just reach up and grab me this way. So here's, remember earlier I said, I want you guys to swim. I want you to swim. Because see, as that hand comes up to punch me, I'm moving away. And I'm taking your body and I'm pulling it this way. So therefore, now you're going that way and I'm going this way. So what I want to use is your body weight, leverage, and momentum. And if I get a chance to grab you. <laughs> Hello, we hope you've enjoyed today's program. It has definitely been fun bringing this one to you. We hope the information we provided to you has been enlightening. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at andrew at justbesafe.com or you can always go to our website for additional resources, which is www.justbesafe.com. Just be safe.